hello my friends this is janet janet live video thank you so much for coming it's a friday i hope many of you have some time to come and watch me today okay friday is a good day there is no excuse wherever you are thank you so much for coming in it's been a while i think i did a video on tuesday but today is a friday i believe i did a video on tuesday okay today is a friday so i hope you are doing very well wherever you are thank you so much for always coming Today, as you can see, my title is about spouse, marriage visa. Many of you have been asking me about marriage visa. We are here. The green card worked. The green card didn't work. We don't care. We are here. We are here to start all over again. Thank you so much. Marcy, Jane, Jojo, everyone. Welcome. Wow, 30 people watching already. Thank you so much for coming. All right. So today we are going to talk about marriage visa in the United States how to petition for your relatives in the united states as usual janet is a blogger you all know me i vlog i blog i'm not a lawyer okay but all these things i tell you based on experience some of you think i can't share a story okay i can decide to share a story all right i came here f1 student visa so i've used these benefits i've petitioned for a spouse before so i'm speaking from from experience i didn't even need a lawyer so you are listening from someone who has done these things, who has petitioned, who has used the immigration benefits before, okay? But keep in mind, this is not legal advice, but it's best from personal experience, having lived and stayed here for 16 years, having seen these things happen, having seen other people do these things. So you're speaking with someone or listening to someone who has been there before. Not anyone just coming from the streets who doesn't know what she's saying. As usual, I encourage you to go on YouTube, subscribe, Janet Rangi. There'll be a notification button. Make sure you click that red button, okay? Subscribe on YouTube. YouTube is coming up. Make sure you subscribe. I'm a very visual person. I like pictures. I like visuals. That's why I do videos more than written words. I love videos, okay? Remember to like our page very many likes okay this is a like we like thumbs up okay we like your reviews we are five stars many of you have gone and left very good reviews thank you so much okay we are five stars on this we uh, this page thank you so much for coming thank you for following thank you for tagging all right i missed the green card yes you are not alone june says good job janet blessings good job all right who is that td getting you from doha thank you marion dennis everyone wow 100 people watching spouse visa and before i continue in fact today i think i need to read some testimonials for you some of you are discouraged and some of you are winning people are winning people are winning people have been listening to me for one year i'm beginning to see results in fact let me read some of them i think i have them on this other phone this is one of the green cards. And by the way, some of you sending messages saying, Janet, don't mention my name. Janet, keep it private. Janet doesn't mention people's names. So don't be worried. Janet is the one putting herself on the line. I'm the public person here. You don't have to worry, okay? Me, I hear I present information. I will never reveal your identity. So don't worry. Relax, relax, okay? All right. Only general information to help our followers so they can follow in the footsteps of those who have succeeded, all right? Someone here told me, Janet, I won. All right, someone who I wrote to me, that's one of the messages I received yesterday. Janet, I won. Hello, Janet. I'm so blessed because I was among selected, okay? But I want you to enlighten me on what next. That's our message from one of our followers. True testimonials. Why do I do this to encourage you? So you can see what other people who are listening with you, people just like you. They are watching Janet. They are taking action. Here are the results. You think I'm joking? Hello, Janet. Okay. You remember when I asked you on whether to apply for F1 while here in Kenya? I did it from here and they responded within six months. I made it. Everything is possible provided being done in the right way. Janet follower. Did you hear that? Hello, Janet. You remember when I asked you whether to apply for F1 while here or in Kenya, okay? I did it from here and they responded with six months and I made it. Everything is possible provided you do it the right way. 
real follower right here with a visiting visa almost expiring did the right thing follow janet took action f1 student visa life has changed going to start rn in the process she follows janet she will apply for green card no more stress we are moving to the next level which is looking for money all right am i lying am i lying real stories real stories story let's see who is this this other one let's read okay hi janet hi janet i just started following you last year i went for my visa interview yesterday and i nailed it okay i'm so grateful to you and i thank god for the opportunity i'm going to this community college thank you god bless hoping to see you someday okay i'm one of your top fans and i see you you made my dream come true one of you again one of you okay be patient with me i'm coming to the content of this message but i have so many testimonials if i don't read many of them you know i won't have time but guys guys people like you next next hi janet this i must tell you okay i got my visa on monday i have a question to ask please share your email thanks a million okay follower 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 like you like you sitting here okay thinking things are impossible all right these are janet followers janet rangi followers action you think i'm lying next testimonials next next hi janet guess what i really thank you for the videos they made me strong determined brave just name it today i went for the visa god is great only three questions i was asked i answered bravely I got a visa, Janet. They told me to go back on Friday to pick my passport. Follower, 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 actions, life changing, life changing, okay? Life changing. Some of you go crying, green card. I didn't win the green, green card lottery. Very few people win. What chances do you have to come as a student? Big chances, big chances, all right? Okay, good. Thank you for following. Let's see if we have some more. My goodness. And this is just for my reviews when I go reading my mail for two days. Can you imagine if Janet reads her mails for two weeks? How many testimonials? This one, three, three days testimonials. Hi, Janet. Thanks for the assistance you provide to us. My husband got selected for the DV Lottery 2020. Follower. Follower. Okay. All right. Next. Let me see if I have many. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hello, Janet. I have, I have a son and his girlfriend won a green card. Follower. Okay. I don't want to read so many details, so I don't say anyone's name here. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get to this, this one. Okay. Hi, Janet. I love your blogs. If you know, oh, that one I don't want to read. Let me leave that one behind. Okay. All right. That's not one. I didn't want to share that one. That's personal. Let's move to this next one. I think I'll make this one the last one, my friends. Okay. I'll make this one. By the way, these are real stories. Okay. Prince, Susie, all of you watch, take action. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Thank you, Janet, for all the good work. You, I just got my visa. I am from Zimbabwe. Thank you, Janet. I appreciate. I'm the first in my family tree to get an American visa. Because of you, God bless you. What is better than that? What is better than that? Can money buy that? Who told you money can buy that? Did I, can money buy that? No, it cannot. How many testimonials did you hear today? How many testimonials did you? And I'm going to be reading for you more and more so you can feel encouraged. Because some of you, you didn't win the green card. And now life is coming to an end. The green card, very few people win. Most of us are here through other means. Let me not lie to you. Most of us are here through other means. What you do, you watch Janet, you get the tips of how other people have come here, okay? All right, let's go to the spouse visa, marriage visa. Who applies for this? Anyone can qualify, okay? Usually someone has to be a United States citizen to petition for you as a family member or a relative, the spouse. Or they can have a green card, which is the same as permanent residency. Okay? Did you hear me? Even those with a green card can petition for you. And those with uh, who are US, U.S. citizens, they can petition for you. Okay? Now, if they are U.S. citizens, they can petition for their spouse who is already in the United States and file a form called I-485, I believe, 
which is called change of status okay so if the citizen is here the spouse is maybe on f1 student visa they can apply for the petition which is the i-130 okay petition for alien relative or an end not all they have to file two okay petition for alien relative i-130 okay an adjustment of status which means they are helping their spouse change from student visa to marriage visa okay so they have to file those two okay but if the spouse is outside the united states they only file the i-130 i-130 which is the petition for the foreign uh, relative okay now those are the two conditions u.s citizen or green card holder all right what will they need janet they will need a marriage certificate they will need passports okay they will need naturalization certificates if the citizen was not born here they need to show their naturalization certificates for the green card holders they have to show what their passports their foreign passports make sure you have your marriage certificate if you're getting married to a person that's already had a divorce they need divorce decrees if you're getting to mar a married to someone whose spouse died you need a death certificate you see such things and all the money they will guide you okay uscis.gov now some of you ask me janet my family member came there and i've not heard from them and they say they already filed for me are they saying the truth this is how you know okay anytime you apply for an immigration benefit a few weeks later they usually send you a letter saying we have received your petition this is your priority date if someone ever tells you they filed for you ask them can you give me evidence there's that form they send you it's called petition okay i think it has a i-797 i believe i don't know the name of head but they usually respond and say okay we have received okay but this is not a benefit sit back relax and wait okay tell them to give you that form no guesswork you can know okay and some of you say janet how will it take how long will it take how will it, long will it take now if your relative is a citizen and they are filing for you okay and you don't want to wait for too long you can always file for k2 no is it no k3 k4 visa i believe okay i think for the spouse and the children so that you can shorten the amount of time you want to wait as the petition goes through but they say these days not so many people apply for that most people they just apply sit back at home and wait some of you have told me, Janet, someone has petitioned for me. I want to try a visiting visa. I can't wait that long. Well, you can try. From experience, having done this for a while, many people come to me saying they were denied. Because they believe you've already put things in place and you want to take a shortcut. Then the visiting visa is a temporary visa. And the immigration law tells them the person has to prove that they will go back home. Now, if you're coming to visit your spouse... How will they show evidence that you'll go back home? Understand all these visas have rules and regulations, okay? That is just something for me to remind you. Does it hurt to go there and put your money there? No, you can go. Who knows? Maybe they'll give it to you, but keep that in mind, okay? So, those two people, they can petition for you. You'll go on the line. Once these things are approved, they'll go to the National Visa Center, and then they will send them to the embassy at home. Then you'll get an interview, okay? All right, so that is how it works now once you file that and let's say your relative comes here if you are married for less than two years usually they give a conditional green card conditional means not before 90 days when it expires you have to go and reapply that thing my friends don't let it expire if you let it expire your your papers will out of out, go out of status and you'll go back home okay we don't want that to happen so keep in mind that once you come here on a green card and your marriage was not more than two years, most likely they'll put you on a conditional green card, which you can use for two years, but before it expires, 90 days before it expires. What did I say? 90 days before it expires, make sure you go and renew that, okay? And remove the conditions, actually. That's what they say. Remove those conditions, all right? I think that is to get rid of fraud and all that. So keep in mind, they always want these marriages to be legitimate. You have to produce a legitimate uh, marriage certificate don't complicate issues and say customary love da, 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 da. just have a marriage certificate okay so thank you so much for coming i see all of you who is that long time elias okay now next i'm gonna talk i don't know do you have any questions about this do you have any questions about this marriage visa 
I didn't know what else to say. Things are so straightforward. I have one of my followers who was telling me, Janet, I went and I was applying to this school and things went so fast, I'm even scared. Now even people are thinking, Janet, I'm crazy. No, you are not crazy. Successful people usually act crazy, okay? They go out of the norm. Successful people, people think you're nuts. You are not nuts. You're just acting different, okay? When you act different, you don't conform to what other people believe, okay? So you are more likely to look nuts, but in reality, you're succeeding, okay? You are separating yourself, okay, from the crowd. What is Joseph saying? Guys, I missed out last year when I failed upload photos. All my pics were denied after failing. Okay, sorry. Do a better job next time. Today, I'm here to encourage you honestly, honestly. The green card is a good thing. You never lose. It doesn't hurt to apply for the green card lottery. For those of you who are asking me every day, Janet, I can't, I can't enter the information. Can you enter for me? It's not possible for me to do for you, but you can wait two, three days and go back. Alternatively, when you go there, there's a place that says forgot confirmation. You can click that and put your information all over again and see what they will say. Okay, try that. All right. Some of you saying, Janet, give me the link for application. No, the application is closed. The application more than likely, if they don't stop these green cards, we will hear from them around October as usual. Janet will come here and post the link so you can do your applications. So you don't go on the wrong website. Some of you wonder, why does she post for us? There are just too many websites up there, out there. Some of you, you write to me, you know, you know how much people have conned your money. People pay a lot of money to con men and they never see any results, okay? I'm here to empower you, to tell you that actually sometimes you don't even need a lawyer. Sometimes you don't even need to use a lot of money, just uscis.gov, read directions, apply everything to the letter, do the right thing, okay? I was just telling one of my followers, okay, she's very nice to me, I'm nice to her, I hope, okay? When she, you know, just some of these benefits, where people are almost giving up, okay? And we go through all this and we do the math, okay? If these people are to go to a lawyer, probably it will cost them $6,000 to $10,000, okay? But because they are followers, they've empowered themselves. How much did they pay? Zero. Probably they paid some money to send there, of course, an application fees, which you have to pay anyway, with or without a lawyer. You need to pay those application fees, okay? So the knowledge you're getting here is worth thousands, okay? If you get knowledge from here and you get that green card or you come on that F1 visa, do you know how much that, do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? It means changing the whole family. It means changing even a generation. These are things you can't quantify. These are not things you measure by money, okay? These are not things you measure in terms of money. These are things that change families and these are things that change generations to come. Do you understand? That person will be educated. Their children will be very educated. And I know there's education everywhere. Don't get me wrong. But some of us, especially those who are following me here, we want something better. Okay? Agnes, long time. Where did you go to? Peter, who is that is watching? Karen, all of you. All right. Do you mean you, you have been married for seven years? Some people and Nicholas and someone else, they are, they are discussing how many years they've been married. Okay? Who is that? I'm just waiting to see how many comments are there. In terms, who is evangelist? Anne Joseph is watching. All right. All right. Who is that? Katumbi is watching. Who is that? Gasare. All right. Faith, as usual, is watching. Many of you coming in. Thank you so much for coming. Today we dealt with marriage visa. People have been asking me this. And by the way, if you didn't watch Sarah, there's a video I went to Chicago. Go on YouTube if you're too lazy here on Facebook. But here on Facebook, you can find there's a video I did saying how entrepreneurs succeed in america entrepreneurs succeed in america bernard is here okay when you go there sarah will explain to you because she was married to an american citizen and she will tell you what happened to her she will, she's from uganda she will tell you the process and what happened to her these are real people real life examples okay joseph he is not clear i think it's months not years okay now now that you're saying that those processing times, if you want to know how long it takes, again, always go to uscis.gov. In the search button, say processing times for I-130. 
processing times for marriage visa okay and if you have the priority date is remember that form i told you when they send it back to you it has your name your priority date your a number fill it in they will tell you how long you will actually see your name there and you will see where the process how far to wait how long to wait you don't even have to ask janet and people all that it's put there for you okay all right zelan is saying thank you janet edit is saying for a visit visa how should i convince the embassy uh come back kindly help it's not a matter of convincing okay and for some of you by the way especially visiting visa some of you for graduation they are denying you okay all right who is a jose wow janet i found you live after some time you're awesome thank you jose so it's not a matter of convincing let me just say quickly when you go to that embassy the going to the embassy the day of the embassy is just a few minutes the work begins when you put in that ds160 honestly that is when you're putting in your interview do a good job do a fantastic job like the right spellings if they ask you your job kindly describe in details make it so nice that before you even submit look at it and enjoy reading it yourself enjoy reading it yourself because that is the introduction that is the first impression that is the only opportunity they are having okay that is the opportunity they are having to see you when you come they don't even have many questions and you know some of you have been denied you go there they ask you one or two questions and that's it why because they already had your information through the ds160 so make sure make sure and they make decisions based on that when you go there just answer the questions be confident watch janet rangi videos about embassies get tips will you use all that information maybe not will it make you more confident yes okay most of the time those bank statements you carry sometimes they don't even ask you all those visiting letters you carry they don't even ask you the ds160 is what the law tells them that's all they need from you and the payment and the passport size photographs and the passport itself that's all okay will they ask you for a bank statement yes maybe maybe not will they ask you for a visiting letter maybe maybe not okay all right okay why don't you take a bold step all right with i have watched most of your videos on youtube thank you so much for watching isaiah okay why don't you take a bold step faith okay so many people are discussing here janet i want us to discuss in private please okay i'm reading the comments now i'm reading so many comments who are those people taking action people are taking action all right take action my friends you've read did you hear the testimonials if you're coming in late make sure you go at the end of this video and listen just to a few testimonials and that's those testimonials testimonials i've received this week okay all those are within the last seven days or five days maybe so i don't know if i read my page for the last week how many testimonials i'll find do you understand my friends people are coming people are, people are coming people are taking actions and they are coming okay all right who is that our kids ask questions you sometimes who is that please jackie says good work your kids can be asked how are you okay harrison one is saying desire yes keep a strong desire after a long time i got you live thank you so much all right okay someone said they are taking action christine what are you saying hey janet if you've been denied b visa several times can you give you can they give you marriage visa yes yes and yes yes and yes and yes my brother got denied three times is he on a green card okay my sister-in-law got denied two times she's here on a green card okay uh people that have been denied seven ten times me i will just wait i go do a better job educate myself say the truth if i if they find me i did something wrong some of you tell me janet what if i lied before well go there if there's a space to type apologize i see you say some i've made mistakes before in my life but if you give me this opportunity i've learned the hard way i'm sorry i mean what does it hurt just go back okay just go back like what chance do you have if you don't go back you have no chance if you go you have a chance it's that simple my friends and i know someone is listening to me i can tell you right now based from experience someone was denied they will go and they will get did you see a testimony the other day for the lady i didn't even read that one she's in canada what is she she shared here with us eh? no names but you heard what she said janet i was denied but when i watched your, your video saying never give up i went and applied again and i'm now in canada 
period okay joan give the date what's joan saying oh man christine thank you i love you back hi janet carl carl is saying these are many top fans today thank you for for tagging harriet is tagging justice all right thank you for tagging so many friends so i wish you luck those who are planning on marriage visas they have to be legitimate okay don't go faking things they have things called fraud we don't want to be in trouble my friends but just know these benefits exist and stop putting all your eggs in one basket some of you only have eggs in one basket which is the green card and that's just a lottery and very few people, people win through that most of us are here because we came as visitors most of us came here as conf on conferences we came here as students yes we came here as spouses as fiancés we came here on j1 visas we came here on exchange programs we came here through many other ways and in the process we adjusted our status in the process we ended up with green cards some of us came here as refugees some of us came here and changed into asylum are you understanding my friends give yourself a chance give yourself a chance stop locking yourself in the green card this green card issue i support you it's free put it in but it's a lottery it's based on luck but if you put effort in f1 student visas your chances are higher okay your chances are higher don't put your eggs in one basket okay because you will be disappointed some of you janet i don't have money now that brings me to the next i think the next video we're gonna discuss uh, <coughs> how to pay for f1 student visa okay and i've done videos those of you who are new on this page welcome we're gonna discuss on how to apply for this f1 and how actually to pay for this f1 student visas coming next for those who followed me for a long time you know that you never miss out you always hear something new that you never knew because even me i'm learning through the process and remember i'm getting information from real life examples when people go to those embassies when people apply for these benefits they come back to me Okay, they come back to me. Information you're hearing from me, my friends, I've been doing this for years. First of all, I've lived myself this life for 16 years. You're getting 16 years worth of experience, okay? On top of that, for the last two, three years, I've been in communication with thousands, not hundreds, thousands of people. And they tell me what happens to them every day. And I'm sharing with you real life example so don't take this for granted if i don't answer your question remember i'm reading other people i always answer your questions through your videos if you are new on this page keep watching to learn okay or if our student visa can one relocate with his or her children yes if your student visa is called f1 student visa and that was a question from one of my followers you apply for f1 student visa and your children and spouse apply for something called f2 okay f2 how do you get that you apply for college you get admission they will send you something called i-20 you meet the requirements for the embassy you ask the school i want to bring my kids and spouse and they will tell you how much money to add on the bank statement then they will give you f2 okay so the i-20 will read f1 student visa for you and it will read f2 student visa for the children and your spouse you go to the embassy you come as a family Am I clear? Okay. All right. It's that simple. It's that simple. You don't have to leave your spouse and children. Some of you don't know that. You're just stuck on this invitation thing. Invite me for graduation. Invite me for this. And my people are coming on conferences. They work in hotels. They decide to go for a conference on food and beverage. They come. I see them every day. They go. They get construction conferences. They come. They work in construction. I didn't finish high school yet. Do I have a chance? And you are busy building. You're in construction. Apply for a construction business conference. Come. That's what the world is doing. Okay, Janet is here to tell you what you don't know. Janet is here to inform you what the world knows. Okay, but thank you for always following. Thank you for your encouraging words. Without you, I can't do these videos. Never give up, my friends. Okay. Do you need a bank statement for the green card? Which one? No, no bank statements, but you need a sponsor, okay? You need someone to take care of you when you come, if you're talking about the lottery, okay? Most of them, they will need someone to sponsor you, all right? Nicholas, what you say? Janet, thanks a lot for this video. My wife has petitioned for me, all right? What preparation do I need to do, okay? You don't need to do anything. Have your marriage certificates ready, your birth certificates, all the documents ready, and sit back and relax. 
okay if he's a citizen as i said you can always apply for k3 k4 but it doesn't take long i mean just wait it will come there say the truth okay and just you know never give up my friends the people that succeed they never give up i've always used my own example if you see me here you think it was easy i've cried many tears my friend okay all right apollo Museveni, i'm so happy to see you how are you you for for once all the way from abu dhabi you found me live okay all right never give up janet has cried tears if you think janet hasn't cried but now i'm happy i have a little problems here and there once in a while but i'm happy okay as i say janet rank on youtube we are growing remember subscribe for those who came early you know subscribe okay subscribe i like where are my things all right remember to like us on facebook page thumbs up we like our likes we like you following by the way we are approaching sixty thousand. how much have we grown we are moving towards a hundred thousand that's my goal a hundred thousand but now we are 60. all right what are the effects of new immigra immigration review by the president <sighs> i don't know let me tell you one thing for me what, what i do i deal with what is here I deal with what was here because if you look at the politics too much you'll get discouraged and then you'll miss what is here you let them do their thing as we deal with what we have that's how i look at life okay so far it's been working for my people all right whatever is going on i don't pay attention i use what is here when they say you know we move to the next thing all right so far they've said many things i haven't seen we are here okay so let's just be positive just keep on using what we have when things change we will know okay so far we don't know life goes on for me life goes on okay stay strong my friends all right what is joy saying does the same rules apply to uk, UK rules no but generally speaking there are some things that you can share you know just integrity is a big issue don't go lying you know you can't get around the system okay the t system is kind of transparent on this side of the world okay you, you you kind of have to learn to do things the right way okay all right zahra is saying always great information you appreciate it thank you margaret i just hope one day i'll be there yes margaret you will be okay all right jenny all right so who else true they say they are stopping green card and here we are still applying i will post any information that i think okay for us we always wait october november i've had that i'm doing my research it was there last year people were saying all those things the green card came okay and we applied and some of us have won okay all right so thank you so much my friends never give up okay remember to keep the dream alive and have a strong desire to succeed the desire will push you over the edge the desire will make you the best you stand you fall you stand you fall you never give up my friends you know what because you're the best all right green cards you can always get them through student visas you can always get them through spouse visas you can always get them through marriage you can always get them through visiting you can always get them through other ways sometimes it's a matter of finding yourself here okay if they stop the lottery we have still have they stopped any other thing pay no okay stay positive my friends all right thank you so much my friends i will see you in the next video we are going to discuss on how to apply for student visas and actually how to pay how to pay for these student visas okay all right thank you so much my friends who is i'll make it this the last comment i have a friend who is a citizen i would like to bring her husband which is the best visa to apply marriage visa okay all right thank you Catherine says never give up jojo says wish you all the best okay all right thank you my friends and thank you so much for coming dennis all right bye bye